So you remember the D clan with well, JJK about to come to an end pretty soon, bro. I decided to look at myself in the mirror and go like, you know what? Let me have a whole yapathon. And today I decided to talk about why Sukuna is still one of my favorite villains. As Sukuna is a different villain from characters like Madara, Aizen, and Doflamingo who are seen as the big three villains. Because when it comes down to these three villains, each of them had a plan and goal in mind, but when it came down to Sukuna, he breaks that as he didn't really have any of them. As there's only one thing he truly came to the modern day era for. That, my friends, being to run and catch a fade with somebody. He even explained it to a character like Yorozu who actually tried to show him love. He truthfully did not care about anything from love to being worshipped or any of that. All he wanted to do was fight, and if he lost, he considered that death. And after he absolutely obliterated Kashimo, he went further on with explaining this. As Sukuna even explains, things such as love and friendship and bonds are all worthless to him. And all he ever cares about and wants to do is just simply fight, eat, and do whatever he wants, and that's it. And Kashimo even asked him, does that ever get boring? And Sukuna said no, because every single last person has a unique taste. Adding on to that, Sukuna is the type of character, if you entertain him or give him a good fight, he will show you respect. Perfect example is being both Gojo and Jogo. Instead of insulting them, saying that like, you're a bum and all that stuff, he showed them respect as there was an entertaining fight to him. And hell, even as he fights, he give people they props. First being Higuruma, who he saw had a great of potential. Now next being Maki who not only is a woman but is a character who has no curse energy which is heavily looked down upon by the Zenin clan and guess what Sukuna gave her her props. Now next being Yuta because Sukuna didn't think he'd go that far as to take over Gojo's body just to ensure they get closer to winning. And hell he even gave his props to big bro Toto saying even though his boogie woogie technique is basically that of a basic one it's still very dangerous in his hands. And now that we read the chapter when Sukuna died bro it kind of bothers me how people compare his death to Muzan and all for one. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys when the chapter came out of Sukuna's death bro I was also clowning on him i can admit it but guess what people when it comes down to characters like all for one and muzan if they had a single chance at living they would have taken it but looking back at the chapter that sukuna died and he had a chance at living and guess what he rejected it because after everything sukuna has done to him and his friends yuji still gave sukuna another chance at living but sukuna said hell no nah, i'm good do not insult me because after all i'm a curse Hey, even though Sukuna didn't go out the way I personally wanted him to with a smile, he wanted the way he lived because he says himself, defeat is no different than death. So yeah, even after JJK ends, bro, Sukuna, no matter what, will always be one of my favorite fictional villains.